Hey guys, this is Great T-Shirt Man, welcoming you back to Let's Play Yoshi's Island. I'm gonna talk really fast right now for no particular reason whatsoever. Anyway. <laughs> this is the longest stage in the game thus far. The Backstreet Boys, or... Uh, I'm sorry, Baseball Boys, yes. Alright, and the gimmick with these guys is that they're pretty much bandits. You know, reskinned and all that good stuff. Except these guys. They have hockey masks. And that's what makes them baseball players! <laughs> uh, mm. But they can be dealt with in much the same fashion as bandits. Just stomp on them, don't miss like an idiot like I just did. And yeah. Any anyway, these guys have an inherent ability that you probably already know of just by looking at them. They have gloves and bats. Do they use them? Well, of course they use them. They use them to catch your eggs, or pick up any eggs that happen to be lying around. They throw them back at you, and pitch them back at you. They will not hurt, but it will push you off ledges, and possibly cause you to fall to your death. And these things are cacti. At least that's what I call them. I'm gonna have to annotate whatever the hell their name is once I look it up here in a little bit. Like I did with the enemies yesterday. You know, because I know you guys just need to know the names of Ego Dill and Tap Tap, such classic enemies that you'll never remember in any, any other moment in your life ever again. Right? And these guys are creepy, and they stalk your ass and shoot at you, and they're cactuses. Cacti. Cac. Cacti. Cacti. Cactu. Cact whatever. Blah. But they're not creepers. So yeah, I will not be calling them creepers. Although I could, just to be an asshole. Whatever. There is no way to kill them, you just stomp on the ground to briefly stun them. You can tell when they're stunned because they'll deflate, and they'll look like they're pretty much piss-ass drunk. And, uh, yeah, they'll have stars hovering above their head. Like a halo. And that's pretty much it. In that case, you didn't notice. Of course you did! The fuck am I... <sighs> cussing, Mike. Cussing. I'm ba I'm Super Baby Mario. And, uh, I just told you guys that. Right, as I finished it. There is a question mark bleh, hovering over there. So I need to shoot just above this faggot's head to get it. And I just got it. See? Uh, this little area is going to demonstrate very well to you that these guys can, you know, give you a taste of your own magic, your medicine, their, their wish doctors, after all. And I'm missing. Okay, and I'm missing. Okay. And I'm missing. The fuck? There we go. But you can use it to your advantage, obviously, and have them do stuff for you. Like I did just now to get that life. So yeah, wasted a few eggs for that life. Was it worth it? Who knows? Probably not. Yeah. Now I just picked up a frozen watermelon. These things freeze enemies, cause them to shatter when you walk through them, cause them to shatter if they're hanging on the ceiling like idiots. It's a very entertaining ability. I certainly like it. Anyway. And, uh, yeah. Should be a halfway ring in here. Alright, good. It's the second one in this level, actually, so I wouldn't really call it a halfway ring. Although we are technically halfway through the level. Like I said, this is a rather large one. And by that, I mean my dick. And by that, I mean I'm very sorry for putting you through that torturous line. I strongly apologize. Not really. <laughs> Alright. And I just love these transitioning tunnels. It's not annoying at all. Huh. Yes, even a game like this can have its downsides. Okay. I love stomping to stun enemies. I wish I could do that with every enemy in the game. Actually, that wouldn't really make much sense. Not that it does now, of course. These mice are actually kind of annoying. They will... Make you think they're running in one direction when they're not. And my controller's causing me to look up, but I'm not gonna bitch about that because that's what makes an LP your bed. Alright, I got another frozen melon. I'm gonna use this on these fuckers, you can believe me. Alright, but we can't carry it with us between screens, so I'm gonna have to ditch it. Alright. Oh, no going back that way. Alright. And now, we're gonna realize we have no eggs. That sucks. We have to get we have to get one if uh, we're gonna 100% this stage. <laughs> Cause we gotta turn into Buta from Guden Lagon and crawl through that dirt. Yeah, I seriously did just make another Guden Lagon reference. Should I stop? Maybe. Depends. Okay, well I just got the egg I needed. <laughs> Watch, I'll miss it. No, seriously, how much you guys wanna bet I'll miss this single egg? 
Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's do this. You know, I talk about it all the time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what Guten Lagon is. It's a really great anime series that I like a lot. I love the I love the theme song, first off. Um, basically a series about kids that, uh, like, you know, live life, you know, live a really shitty life underground, and they dig their way up to the surface world, where mankind was wiped out pretty much a long time ago. Well, kinda. Except now, the survivors, you know, live in underground villages, just like the kids I just mentioned. And, uh, there are these, like, half-human, half-beast creatures called beastmen that are, like, oppressing them, trying to keep them in the villages. And if they see them, uh, you know, above ground, they're gonna kill their asses and hunt them down. So that's kind of tragic, in a way. But, don't worry, you know... The characters are all very badass. The main character, Simone, uh, has really good character growth. I strongly recommend the series. I'm advertising. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's not very entertaining. But, uh, yeah. So now you know. Whenever I make a good Logon reference, like an otaku, that's what you'll need to know. <laughs> it's a good series. If you watch it, you'll actually know what the hell I'm talking about. You know, unless, of course, I'd be a good LP here for once, and stop mentioning the same thing over and over again. And, uh, you know, stop, you know, antagonizing myself all of a sudden. That would help too. Alright. And you do realize, you can hold L to miss your egg. Like an idiot. You can hold L to lock your reticule in place, which is actually very helpful. And I don't think that last coin I miss up there is a red coin, so no worries. I will need this egg, and I will need these two eggs. And I will also get hit in the process. And I will have my eggs stolen because mice are faggots. Come on. I will eat your kin. Thank you. I will eat you too. Come back here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, Mario, stop your bitching. Stop your belly bitching, your belly aching. Fuck. I'm missing. I wasted all my eggs. I did that so perfectly in the practice file. Son of a bitch. I need eggs! Eggs! Thank you. I'm gonna scramble you. Yes! I hit it. Man, my god. Alright. And that's the end of that. The hell out of this place. Go! What's Gussie taste like? That's a good question. Oh my god. There are flying condoms filled with semen at the tip. Wow. Really, Nintendo? And yes, I know that Let's Player made the same same joke. I don't care. I've noticed it before, before he said it, so... D don't yell at me! Oh man, they really are flying condoms, and I gotta eat them. And the, the title specifically asked what they taste like. Oh man. Aw, oh, I tried getting that life just now. Who am I kidding? I'll never get a life. Alright. Get some... Ugh! Alright. When I was a kid, I used to have trouble with this one right here. This question mark, bleh, and this flower. I don't know why. I used to just jump at it like a suicidal idiot and miss half the time. I remember one time I died like five times trying to get it. <laughs> and then I thought to shoot at it. Oh man, good times. Good times. It's just that innocent, ignorant youth in us all that we miss. You know it to be true. Alright. Gonna dig my way through here like Simone and stop referencing that fing series for once. Oh, come on. I missed? I missed? No, oh, I missed! Come on. There we go. What is it even? A star? Some coins? Cool. 
Oh, and a fang. Because that's what these bats are called, by the way, fangs. That's a name that, honestly, I don't see the point in, because they certainly don't look like they have fangs, but whatever. They do hurt you, so maybe they do. We're supposed to imagine that they bite into us with fangs. And did I seriously just just pop a question mark bleh, just to get a coin? Wow. Yes! Super Baby Mario again. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Go that way. Go that way. There you go. Good boulder. Good boulder. I always wanted a pet boulder and I finally got it. Finally got my wish. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. You know, once this pet boulder does its fucking job, gets out of the way and whatnot. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Why, it's the rest of the red eggs in the stage. Right? I think it is. Nothing nothing's gonna go wrong in here, except this thing. He he will definitely try to give us something wrong. And I missed a coin back there, but there is no need to fret, I will get back to it. In case you guys had any doubts in me. Yep, that was that was it for the red coins. It's alright, we got that out of the way. Alright. That took longer than usual. Huh. And you know, I believe there is a flower up here. And that's the one thing I need. This video, holy crap, this video is actually carrying on quite long. I better hurry up. <laughs> ah! Ah, it's a pain in the ass. I just want that flower. Please, can I get that flower? No. No. <laughs> Give me that egg. Damn you. Damn you all. Oh, okay, that's what I needed. That's what the doctor wanted. No! <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut. Alright, there was a flower up there, and I got it. So I got that out of the way. That was a real regular pain in the ass, too. And I know those aren't red coins right there, because I already got all the red coins, so there's no need to check them. Yeah, we're gonna turn into Buta again. And, uh... Yes, I know there's a key up there, but honestly, all it, all it's gonna unlock is, you know, a bonus challenge door. And those do not count towards 100% completion for a, a stage, so I honestly don't give a single shit. I know there's a flower up here. I do give a shit about that. Alright, good, I got it. I got it! No need for alarm, guys. I'm cool, I'm cool. Get this bubble spring. Almost hit the bat, and that would have been a slight inconvenience, to say the least. And we're gonna end this stage the old-fashioned badass way. Not as baby, super baby, bat, badass shithead Mario, but we're gonna push a boulder into legions upon legions of enemies and kill them all! Oh, and don't fall. That would, that would be uh, dampering your plans. Alright! Well, I'm gonna have to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I, uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Bye! That sounded gay! <laughs> 100%, hell yeah. Oh, he's so I'm